Okay, everyone, I'd like to um, get us started. First of all, I'd like to uh, make sure that I welcome each and every one of you for being here this evening on this very special occasion, the 2017 mayor's installation of Mayor-elect Karen Go. It's always such an honor to sit here in this capacity and observe all of the wonderful people and citizens of Bakersfield that are present here tonight to offer their support. That's an example of how Bakersfield cares about each other. And I hope that all of you will appreciate our brief ceremony this evening, but most importantly, you're all here and you're all here to offer support and I thank you for that. At this time, I would like us all to stand for the invocation to be presented by Monsignor Craig Harrison of the St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by South High School Army Junior ROTC and the Pledge of Allegiance by Lieutenant Jordan Goh, Army National Guard, and the National Anthem sung by Lauren Caff, fourth grade student, Reagan Elementary School. Thank you, Mayor Hall and Mayor Goh, for the invitation to come and begin in prayer. So let's come before our God. We come tonight in gratitude to our Creator for the gift of Mayor Harvey Hall and his wife, LaVon, for their love, commitment, and devotion to our city. We thank you for their example of respect, inclusion, and inspiration that they've given over the years to help make the city of Bakersfield a wonderful place to live. And now we ask your blessing on Karen Go, our new mayor. Fill her with energy, grace, and determination to carry out the office. So tonight, we bless Harvey and LaVon and we can't send Karen forth with the blessing. On your mark, get set, Karen, go. Amen. Please join me in honoration, honoring our nation's flag. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming
Please be seated, everyone. We have a number of uh, special guests that are here that have joined us this evening, and I'm going to try to acknowledge everyone. If I miss you, I apologize for it, but I have quite an extensive list. First of all, I would like to uh, recognize Lisa Green, our Kern County District Attorney. I'd like to also recognize past District 1 Supervisor John McQuiston, the President of Bakersfield College, Sonia Christian, the past CAO for the Kern County Board of Supervisors in the County of Kern, John Dynlon. Um, past mayor, as a matter of fact, the last woman mayor that we had for the city of Bakersfield, Mary Kay Shell. <laughs> past council member, Sue Benham. President Horace Mitchell, Cal State University, Bakersfield. Assembly member, Shannon Grove, this, the CEO of the Bakersfield Greater Chamber of Commerce, Nick Ortiz, past council member, Russell Johnson. Again, I say that I apologize if I overlooked anyone, but you're all special people to be here this evening. Vice Mayor Smith, please. Thank you, Mayor. I finally get to give a presentation to Mayor Harvey Hall. I don't shoot. I am not practiced like you. This is the gavel the mayor has used for 16 years. We appreciate your work. Uh, I've said it before, and your, your campaign slogan of unity in the community, I wasn't sure what that meant, but you showed me over the years that you bring the community together in work with your litter pickups, in celebrations, with ribbon cuttings, and, and when we grieve, you mourn with us. So we thank you very much for all your service. Thank you. You know, no, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful 16 years for me to serve this city as its mayor. It has brought about passion from my heart every day to make this city better. I've carried with me a motto from day number one. Make every day better than the day before to make Bakersfield the best city in America. And I've carried forward with that every day. I love this city. I love 
the people of our city and the businesses that do such an admirable job every day to make services available and to enhance their businesses when it's applicable. I'm honored to have awarded 297 high school scholarships with my mayor's salary totaling $253,000. Having the distinction of bringing positive recognition to 12,505 citizens of California's ninth largest city. I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to serve with 17 outstanding city council members. The city's nine departments led by exemplary managers that have supported the mayor's office with responsible leadership. I have had the benefit during the last eight and a half years to have an exceptional administrative assistant, Keitha Turner. Keitha Turner is the workings of the mayor's office. Keith Turner is a dedicated, most loyal city employee. I'm going to miss Keitha and how she brought to the mayor's office a commitment every day to make certain that constituent services were met at its fullest and to make sure that we accommodated the people who needed help through the mayor's office, Keitha was responsible for that. Keitha managed, along with my administrative assistant, Heather Pruitt at the ambulance company, these two ladies managed my schedule. It took two of them every day to manage my schedule. That was because I wanted to be a mayor for all the people I wanted to be everywhere and do everything that I could. To be able to do that, it took two appointment secretaries to manage my calendar. When I first decided 17 years ago to run for the position of mayor, I gathered all of my ambulance company managers together and I asked them, if I choose to run for mayor, will you all continue to manage the business the same as if I wasn't here? And they all assured me that they would do that, and they all encouraged me to move forward with that very first election against 10 other candidates. Subsequently, we've had three re-elections, the last of which I was unopposed. It's been a wonderful experience for me to have the benefit of the leadership team at Hall Ambulance, which allows me the flexibility to do things that I needed to do for the city. I'm very blessed to have 430 outstanding employees in my organization every day. And they give back to me every day in the way that I can continue to have a successful business. I'm so proud of them. I'm proud of our employees that we have every day. And I'm proud of all of you that continue to give back to this community and honor the number of less fortunate individuals, of families and children in our community, in all of you, as you did in Thanksgiving, as you did at Christmas, giving back to provide a better life for all of these less fortunate individuals. I have felt very blessed to put into my commitment to this city 
unity in the community. Because I believe that this is a community of unity. And as we go forward for the next four years, I fully expect that the unity in the community theme is going to continue with Mayor-elect Karen Go. We have worked in a number of paths together. I know what Karen Go's commitment is to this city. She will make an outstanding mayor as the 26th mayor of the city of Bakersfield. I wish good luck and prosperity to Mayor-elect Karen Go, and especially as our city's 26th mayor. You know, and I, uh, as they say goodbye, I have to talk about the last thing I have on my comments here is that I've served 5,846 days in 362 council meetings, and I've only missed six council meetings in 16 years. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity. Thank you all for electing me four times to serve as the city's longest serving mayor. It's my honor to request that Mayor-elect Karen Go join retired city clerk Roberta Gafford at the podium for the administration of the oath of office. Please raise your right hand. Do you, Karen K. Go, solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic? That you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California? That you take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. I do. Congratulations. Before the mayor leaves, uh, this is the gavel that he's really banged for the last 16 years. Not really too hard, though. He controls uh, all of us without it. The Honorable Harvey L. Hall, Mayor, City of Bakersfield, January 2nd, 2001 to January 3rd, 2017. Thank you. about words about our mayor. Dedicated, committed, positive, and would you agree Bakersfield's biggest cheerleader? Right? <laughs> Did you say 5,846 days of service? That, that's just so incredible. And you were talking about our city being so great and that your goal is to make every day, 
every day better for our city and then to make this America's greatest city. And I know that you've done that with all of your heart, with all of your passion, and we just thank you so much. And now, I think, it's my turn to give you a key. How about that? <laughs> so here we go. I think the mayor's given a few of these out. So here's the key to the city. It's beautiful. In recognition of your tenure as the city of Bakersfield's longest serving mayor, January 2nd, 2001 to January 3rd, 2017. In recognition of your profound commitment in making this city a better place to live for each and every resident, and in recognition of the positive and lasting, lasting impact you have on the quality of life in the city of Bakersfield. So it's my pleasure to present to you Thank the you. city of Bakersfield. Thank you so much for your service. You. you want me to take my book? I can read it for you if you want to use it. Now I have to get my booster chair. Thank you all so much for being here in support of Mayor Hall and in support of me. And I'm just so thankful that an ordinary person has had such an extraordinary life because of an extraordinary God and extraordinary people like you who have given me opportunity and who have mentored me. And I'm grateful that my family is here today. I'm thankful for my parents who gave me that foundation of faith, instilled in me the value of family, of education, and the call on our lives to serve others. And now I'd just like to introduce them. Uh, my father, Harry Go. Can you go ahead and stand up, Dad? Thank you so much for your investment in my life. And then my brother, David, sister-in-law, Janelle, my nephew, Jordan, my nephew, Hunter, and my niece, Annalise. Would you all please stand? <laughs> Pam, I need something from you. Because, you know, today's kind of a big day for our family. But I'll tell you what, I, I'm not sure whether my family thinks that today is as big a day as yesterday. Because yesterday, you know what happened? Fight on. So they're a big Trojan fan, so these are for you. David, come on up and get them. Thank you, David, so much uh, for your investment in my life as my only brother. And uh, just love you, and all of you love you. There are enough of there uh, to fight on. And then also I want to introduce my cousin Nisi Sheldon and my cousin Paul Sheldon. Would you stand up, please? <laughs> to all of you in this room and then to all of you in the overflow room, thank you all for being there. Thank you for your confidence. I thank you for your vision. And I thank you for voting me in. The road to becoming mayor has been absolutely incredible. I'm just so thoroughly inspired by all of the hardworking citizens who uh, call Bakersfield their home, who have hope for the future, and just love this amazing city. And would you get, agree that together we have boundless potential? Together, is that the word? Together, united as one. And so tonight I call upon you, I call upon our community, to unite as one. Would you say as one? As one. And you know, behind us we have our national motto, in God we trust. And at the bottom of that, we have another motto, which is, out of many, one. And we have boundless potential as one. So I'd ask each of us to bring our own abilities, our vision, our passion, and join together 
to realize that boundless potential that we have as a community. You know, I'm so grateful I don't have to walk this journey alone. I have all of you. I'm going to call upon experts. I'm going to listen. And then many of you will be called to give me sound advice. And even those of you who volunteer your advice, I'm there to listen. So <laughs> please do that. I look forward to accomplishing together the goals that we set forward during the campaign, enhancing our economy, and that includes our core economy of agriculture and energy, creating new jobs in technology, manufacturing, and transportation, joining together in education to improve that. Let's work together for safe streets. Chief Martin, I saw you somewhere around here. He might be in the other room clean neighborhoods, and a revitalized downtown. And so I would ask you to join me in creating a city that's teeming with commerce, with lively arts, with safe and clean neighborhoods, with thriving businesses, all supported by a responsive and efficient government. Would you do that? Would you join me in creating that city? Would you join me? I'm honored by your trust, and I promise to give all of my strength in body, in mind, and in spirit to the job that you've given me and the job with which you've entrusted me. You know, in the Bible, there is a passage in Micah 6, 8 that talks about what God asks of us. And it says, um, he has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? What does he require of each of us? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. And that's what I intend to do. So I humbly ask for your help. I look forward to working with all of the council members, with all of the staff, with all of you in the community. And I would humbly ask for your prayers as we go forward together as one. May God bless you and your family and this beautiful city of Bakersfield. Thank you again. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to spend many more days together looking for what's ahead, and I truly believe that greater things are yet to come in this city. God bless you. Thank you very much. And while you're all standing, I'm going to ask my brother, David Goh, who is the senior pastor of the Garden Community Church, to come and offer the benediction. Would you remain standing, please? Would you join me to receive this blessing? Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you in this sacred moment as we honor the good leaders of the past and recognize their contribution and as we pledge our support and prayers to those who will lead us in the future. We thank you that you give grace and governance to our lives, that we are not alone, but that we are connected to you and your goodness. In particular, we pray for Mayor Karen Goh that you would bestow your favor, your wisdom, your resources, and uh, everything that she needs to lead our community into greater days because we do believe that greater things are yet to come for this city. And so we declare over every person in this community, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, and may he grant you shalom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
So I get it. Do I get to use this for the very first time? <laughs> we are adjourned. Thank you so much, and I'll see you out there at the reception and uh, at Metro. Thank you. Good photo.